Trail. First time riding it. We're a couple miles in. I ran out of space on the uh, SD card. I had to format it. Because when you delete stuff on the Mac from an SD card, it uh, just puts everything into the recycle bin thing, which is uh, also on the SD card. So you don't actually clear out any space till you kind of empty your trash. And you guys sometimes forget to do. Good thing you can format it right from the camera. Yeah, so this trail so far, it started out a little bit rocky, but now it's really smooth and flowy. But it's also pretty damn loose. narrow too so yeah. my back end is just sliding everywhere yeah we were talking to somebody earlier uh, a couple days ago to a mountain biker and she was telling us how the, uh, the dirt bike people recently redid it or did a bunch of work on this trail and it really shows it is very smooth like Jay was saying if you were brave you could really haul ass on this trail because it is smooth as butter in a lot of spots uh, I am not that brave today. The main goal today is to not have any crashes. So we're kind of here on a leisurely trail ride. Just exploring. So we're going to ride this. And we're going to go up Methodist uh, Peak. At least that's our plan. Looks like there's road going up there, a trail of some sort, anyway. And at least looking at the, the peak from below, looks like it should have a pretty sweet view. Honestly, I kind of like the, uh, that little bit more techy stuff the rocks and the creek crossings than some of this faster, flatter, but very looser <laughs> stuff. It's like very gravelly. Probably can't see it on the camera, but there's this fine gravel all over everything. Which makes it really slippery. Like riding mud. You give it even a little too much throttle, and you start your back wheel just starts sliding on the, on the pebbles. Same thing with the brakes. And I normally ride a Husky, which has the Rack Tech uh, brakes, which are a little bit more progressive. Brembo has got very strong engagement. So it took me a little bit to uh, stop jabbing on the front brake. be a pretty kick-ass trail on a uh, mountain bike too. It's reasonably flat. Not a ton of climbs.
little trail. Now we're into this like beautiful Aspen Grove type of situation. There's some pine trees. trail users. Always important. Don't ever want to ride further than you can see or faster than you can see. up again. That's how this trail goes. Goes to a nice flowy section. And you go into a nice rocky section. very terrain here. So we started, it's definitely kind of like in the tree line and you definitely felt like you're in the mountains. And now we're coming down, we're on the, I think this is kind of more a southern slope and it feels, it smells like California. It feels like a desert. It definitely got a lot warmer. You see this like low scrub type of stuff. Jay. Just making our way down to the highway. Here. Cool thing while being plated is that you can basically go anywhere. These bikes are so good that you can you know, ride this kind of single track very competently and then uh, at the same time go get the highway get, you know reasonable comfort probably wouldn't spend more than 20 minutes on the freeway but you're just doing like 55 mile an hour type of stuff perfectly capable Loose, very side hill to kind of take it easy. You don't want to go off the side of the side hill. But
jets flying over us.